it's Doris with all the books and I am here with my nonfiction November TBR. Now, nonfiction November is one of my favorite readathons of the whole year. Uh, it's hosted by Olive and Gemma, and I will um, link Olive's announcement video below in Gemma's channel so that you can get more information. But basically, it's just to encourage all of us to read more nonfiction. All you have to do to join in is read one nonfiction book. That's it. Now, Olive has come up with um, a set of four prompts to um, make it more fun. And this year, I think they are super duper clever. So last year, they were four one word prompts. This year, it's four related, like very cozily related two word prompts. So really smart, really smart. So let's just jump in. The first pairing of words is past time and past time. I know. See how clever they are? Anyway, past time and past time. So for past time, as in history, I will be jumping into Stranger Than We Can Imagine. An Alternative History of the 20th Century by John Higgs. Now, this book, I was first uh, introduced to it on Dee Dee's channel from Brown Girl Reading, and she is in this real-life book club that um, comes up with this big list of books every year, and then they, you know, vote it down to the, um, I guess, 12 winners for the for the year. And I just get the best ideas from those videos every year. I look forward to them. So definitely you should check that out. I will link Dee Dee's channel below as well. But this one is looking at both technological, cultural, idealistic innovations of the 20th century. And, um, it sounds pretty heavy duty, so I'm excited. Then for pastime, I, pardon me, my battery's low. Uh, for pastime, I have Friday Night Lights by H.G. Bissinger. This is um, all about high school football in the small town of Odessa, Texas. I know. But uh, if you grew up in the United States, at least, I don't know about the West Coast, but um, the South and the Northeast uh, football is huge. So huge, especially in small towns. So Friday nights, um, the whole town comes out. It's so, it's so exciting. I don't know what to say, but it's just a real late town building experience. And I'm kind of looking forward to reading this. I mean, really, more than kind of. Okay, and then the next set of prompts is self and shelf. And I've kind of, each pairing, you know, kind of coordinated my covers so they match so I can take Instagram pictures. That's just a little side detail for you. <laughs> but for self and shelf, I'm going with, um, See how beautifully coordinated they are? Um, I'm going with Ursula K. Le Guin's No Time to Spare, Thinking About What Matters. Um, Ursula K. Le Guin is a science fiction writer, and I don't read a lot of science fiction, but this is, I think, kind of a biographical essay collection that she wrote for her blog, most of them. And it's focusing on, I think, the second half of life and things that matter to you corporately um, not you specifically <laughs> but uh, yeah and there's there's a section on her cat so I'm in for that I'm in for that and then for shelf I went obviously book related the professor and the madman by Simon Winchester this is a tale of murder insanity and the making of the Oxford English Dictionary so yeah I think that'll be fun. I'm loving those, you know, 
action adventure narrative nonfiction stories. Okay, and then our next pairing is Wonder and Wonder. So, I have The Age of Wonder. This is a heavy one. Um, How the Romantic Generation Discovered the Beauty and Terror of Science by Richard Holmes. So, I believe this starts in 1769, and it's basically coming out of the Dark Ages and all the science that people got back into at the time. So, yeah, pretty cool. T and textbooky, I think. Oh. And then another one, I think I saw this on Richard Reed's channel. He mentioned it. Right Turn, Turn Right at Machu Picchu by Mark Adams. Rediscovering the Lost City One Step at a Time. Is that a nonfiction thing to have subtitles? I think it might be. But yeah, a total bucket list going to Machu Picchu, definitely. And this is a um, travel journal. So, looking forward to it. And then last but not least, um, the prompt is micro and macro. So, and look at how beautifully coordinated these two are. Yeah. Um, so I have Janesville, an American story by Amy Goldstein. And this one will be a buddy read with Heidi. And I'll link her channel below as well. All these channels. I get great recommendations from BookTube. So this one, I think I saw this on Claire's channel originally. But this is a small town America. The, the town is supported mainly by um, one specific factory that closes down and how it affects the people and the town and how they recover. And then um, this is for micro, could also be macro. And then the Evangelicals, The Struggle to Shape America by Francis Fitzgerald, winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Not this book, I think the author. But this one was long listed and maybe short listed for the National Book Award last year. I started reading it and got a couple three chapters in last year and didn't finish. Also textbooky. Um, but yeah, this one is about basically about how the Protestant religion and especially the evangelicals shaped America. So I actually think these, although they're diverse topics, will really relate well together um, to illustrate the current political scene and why we are where we are in the United States of America at this particular moment in time. So, moving on. Um, that's what I've got for Nonfiction November. I have lots of other books I want to read in November too, so I need to come up with a plan. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will be back soon. Bye!